Okay, welcome back. So in this video we're going to finish out the main part of the body by doing our foot. So to get our foot started all I'm going to do is draw out a box roughly the size I want our foot to be and in my left view I'm just going to position it. So actually seems fine. So I'm just going to convert it to an editable poly and turn on the x-ray view and I'm going to place it where I actually want it which is I'm actually going to bring it up here to make the bridge of the foot. So something like this. So it's like as if he was wearing a big a strappy kind of shoe thing like a sandal or something. So with that I'm going to add a connection down the middle first and I'm also going to add a connection along here. So we have this and I'm going to add one more connection actually here just so I can get a bit more shape over the top of the foot. This foot is kind of strangely drawn, I think. I mean, if you just move all this out of the way for a sec, it's like, it's not a very realistic looking foot, so I'm just gonna roughly follow the reference for the start and then I'll fix it up afterwards. So I'm gonna grab all these polygons and just extrude these out. Any amount again because once again we're going to be going into this view and just repositioning them anyway. So something like there. Let's bring this down a little bit further even. And I think that kind of dip up is a bit too high for a toe. So I'm going to just leave it like that. Now I'm going to do the same on the back, grab all these polygons and extrude this out. Again, any amount at all. And just reposition these vertices. So, where have I this one? Um, we'll go up here somewhere. And then straight across the top with that one. So I'm going to put in another connection there, I think, to get the um, shape of the foot a bit better. So we'll just move all these up a little bit to make room for this last connection. And I'm not sure if I did that right, so I'll just run it properly. Put in this connection and we'll just kind of get that back shape of the foot that I'm looking for. I'm going to bring these down quite low actually so they can be kind of the sole of the foot or the start of where the sole is going to start. Maybe pull both of these out a bit. Mm -hmm. If I can grab them again. I to be having a lot of trouble grabbing these toes and stuff and the vertices lately. Okay, so now we have this shape, what I'm going to do is, view, I'm going to put a material on it, make sure that's black, and I'm just going to pull the foot in a little bit on these two edges. I'm not grabbing that last edge because I don't want to move that. Let's just pull it in slightly, then I'm just going to grab all these vertices and pull them into about there and then on this side I'm going to pull them in and back a little bit further because this is going to be the big toe on the inside and this is going to be the little toe on the outside so it's going to come back a little further on that side. Now what I'm going to do is grab these, pull these out a little bit, I'm going to pull this out a little bit as well and move it back a bit further. This 
just to get the shape of the outside of the foot, which is something like this. It's easier probably to see it on the bottom. So now I need another edge loop to just get the last shape I need for the heel. So with all these selected, if I go into my front view, or actually my bottom view would be a lot better for this. Deselect those ones and just pull this out a little bit and pull these in and forwards a bit. Okay, now I need to pull that in there. This actually needs to line up with the, um, let's see, these two need to line up with this edge here. And this one needs two need to line up with this edge here and this one needs to come into about there. Bring my foot over a bit to the side. I think that's what the problem is there. Alright. So now I'm just going to pull all this in about again. Just to kind of get that shape on the foot. Now you can see why I didn't like this reference here because of this shape. So what I'm going to do is just pull all this down a little bit. Maybe pull that down a bit more even. And I'm going to put in one last connection here. And all I'm going to use this for is just to get this last bit of the shape. this side I need to start bringing this in quite severely because the inside of your foot comes in quite a lot. So something like that. And again I need to do something similar with these vertices that I did with the other side. So bring them in something like that. And I still think this is a bit too high. Yeah, I think that's more what it should look like to me anyway. Just going to pull this down a little. And then this point here, ah, this is what was wrong. I haven't pulled these back. They're going to come back to there. I'm sure I did pull them back. I must have moved them again. Okay, so now we've got all this shape kind of started. I'll just pull some of these out a little bit. What I'm going to do is, on the bottom, I'm going to grab all these vertices on the bottom. And just on my X, scale them in very slightly. grab all these and not the top ones. So we'll scale these in a little bit. Yeah, I think that looks a bit better. Alright, so now we have this kind of general shape that I'm looking for. I'm going to actually pull that back in a little. I still think that foot's is very strange looking. I'm just going to even these up again. And now we kind of have our foot 
sorted on the left here I'm just going to grab these two points and pull these over to there again to line up with that foot or the ankle rather now I'm just going to delete those polygons and now we're kind of ready to attach the foot to the rest of the body so now that I've done that I'm going to go into border mode select this border and this border and just hit bridge just to join them together now that I've done that what I can do is just put my edge constraint on again pull that up a little bit and my front view just take a look at what I've done ok so my foot's kind of over the to the side it's kind of turning the leg a bit too much right so now I've got that I can just pull that down a little bit I think a little bit more even I might pull all these down as well yeah ok so now that we've got that what I can do is put an edge loop in here and bring it down a bit maybe I'll bring this one back down again actually make sure I'm not destroying it too much in the um, in the left view so something like this might actually pull the entire foot forward a little bit Okay, so now that I've done that, all I'm going to do is grab this vertex here, pull it out and down a bit, and this vertex here and pull it up and out a bit, just to create the kind of ankle bones that you would see. I'll turn on my edge constraint and just pull that down a little bit. Might do the same for that one. And all of these actually, just to kind of ease them out a bit. Now that that's done, that is pretty much our foot. I think that's all I'm going to do on it now. Let me just double check everything. Okay, one last thing I'm going to do is just grab this bottom set of verts and just make them plain along the X, A, and the Z here. Just, just so it's perfectly flat now. Okay, so now if we take a look at it, you'll see we have our character, and once again I'll do this uh, symmetry thing just to show it a bit better. So we have our character now, and his feet are looking pretty good, I mean, ah, I haven't put them on in the smooth group yet, so do that as well and yeah I mean he's looking okay he's not too shabby his ankles are a bit kind of fat at the back or his heels I mean maybe I'll just fix that as well while I add it so all I'm going to do is I think just grab these three and these three verts. Can I select it? Oh no, there we are. Right. I'm just going to scale these in a little bit just to kind of pull the heel in a bit more. Might actually do the same with these two because these should come in actually more than the rest. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm going to leave it at that, and just one last check with the symmetry to make sure I'm going to put the turbo smooth on 
speed look very good and they're kind of the right shape for feet here and uh, all looking okay yeah all right so now the last part of this tutorial is going to be modeling the head and the neck and attaching them once we're done with that we'll have an entire character modeled in 3ds max so i'll get on to that in the next video and thanks for watching again so i'll see you then